energy sector, head of multilateral organizations represented here by UNIDO representative, invited guests, panelists, executive and council members of the Abuja Chamber of Commerce and Industry, gentlemen of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Um, it is my honor and privilege to welcome you all to this celebration of World Energy Day. The theme of today's conference is energy transition, gas as the preferred fuel of choice. The, the, the theme is topical and goes to the heart of global debate on energy transition and climate change. The movement for energy transition is considered to be a global idea within the context of the Save the Planet movement. Countries in Africa are working to devise appropriate responses. Across African capitals, the debate is on as to what energy transition should mean for the peculiarities of each country. South Africa, for example, is grappling with the question, the call to abandon coal sounds like an existential threat to that country. Stopping coal usage without sustainable alternative is being resisted. For Nigeria, the fossil fuel question stares, stares us in the face. Even when Nigeria is not a major contributor of global emission, the country, as a responsible member of the international community, has commitment to keep. The carbon reduction pledge made under the Paris Agreement must be complied with. Unlike other countries without sustainable alternative, Nigeria has an option, and that is gas, a cleaner, green source of energy. Ladies and gentlemen, your excellencies, it is in this line that I want to commend the administration of Mr. President and Commander-in-Chief, President Muhammad Buhari, for crafting a gas agenda, which has now become a Nigerian response to the energy transition question. Your Excellency, Honorable Minister, please convey our appreciation to Mr. President. You people are doing a great job. Mr. Vice President, and Honorable Minister of, Petro Minister of Petroleum, we congratulate you for your foresight and responsiveness to the need of our time. The gas commercialization, commercialization agenda, the auto gas initiatives, and other policy responses have provided much needed answers to Nigeria's need for energy transition. Friends of Nigeria cannot but agree that for Nigeria, a major gas producing nation, the preferred fuel is gas. With that, the nation is acting within the confines of her international obligations, while at the same time, protecting her vital national interests. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, we are thus gathered here 
to examine in detail the question of energy transition and Nigeria's response within the cost context of global carbon reduction campaign. This discourse is central to our national economic survival. For us at the Abuja Chamber, we hope to hear more details about business and investment opportunities within the value chains of the gas sub-sector. And we have no doubt, but by the quali caliber of the people gathered here, a lot is going to come out. We look forward to more information about the local content and the small and medium enterprises lays in the emerging gas regime. Uh, I must say we are really honored. The chamber, the gathering I see here is a testimony that uh, the chamber is being regarded highly by the government. And um, Your Excellency, Honorable Minister, we assure you, we'll keep the flag flying. And we are working very hard to come closer to government so that we'll be able to advise and uh, give our widow's might to the development of this country. We thank you for coming. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for listening to me and I wish all of us